How you guys doing? Chris Ignato here, and you are watching Nature Now. So, this is a bit of an improv video, and it's basically about some pet praying mantises I've had. Now, I've kept a lot of mantises over the years from various places and for various reasons. Well, one particular mantis, a Carolina praying mantis, I had, and she was pregnant. She uh, made an egg case in Utheka while I was filming. Here's a clip right here. So I'll bring a bunch of these to work and let them go there. And I'm keeping several at home with different types of substrate to see if it has an influence on their markings as they grow older. That's gonna be fun. Pretty cool, huh? Well, needless to say, once those eggs hatched, I actually held on to a few of the babies. Make a long story short, what I did was I took several of the babies, I kept three in total, I think, I put them in different containers with different types of habitat. One of them I placed a few different pieces of construction paper and different plants like a yucca leaf that was bright yellow and stuff like that. Once these praying mantises molted into adulthood, they actually took on some of the colors from their surrounding environments. And I have to admit, there were some really cool color variations. Like this praying mantis, for instance. Look how it has an influence from yellow, blue, green, almost a purplish tinge, and even red. What an incredible looking praying mantis. Now, I don't like interfering with nature, and I did take into consideration that these praying mantises still need to be able to function in the wild. So I did choose colors that would still help them blend into their environments. And the reason why I did all this in the first place is that I had a theory. That theory was, do praying mantises kind of take on the color of their environment as they grow up and reach adulthood? <laughs> really cool, huh? So looking back at the results, I'd have to say yes, right? The environment does influence the outcome of their final colorations and what incredible colors they are. The reason why I chose the Carolina praying mantis is, well, one, I happen to have some. Two, I've seen Carolina praying mantises in the wild come out with some interesting color variations, lots of grays, browns, greens, and things like that. So I thought that they'd be really good for the, for the experiment, including the fact that their lifespans are relatively short. You know, they don't really live much than a year. The ones I've had in captivity have lived quite long, but that's an entirely different video. And boy, do I have some stories about that. But again, that's another video. Now look at this, this is a male. And I love how the, the legs are nice and green and you still have that brownish red and everything going on in the body. But here's an adult female and her predominant color is green. I did have some more green in the, in the tank itself, but I do find the females to come out a slightly more green or grayish color compared to the males who have a lot of, uh, who represent a bit more of the reddish tones. And of course, usually they have greener legs. I don't know if that's just coincidence or not, but it's still something I've observed. Ow. So, <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it's a real short one, but I've been working on a praying mantis video for a few years. It's just really hard with the cameras I've got and doing all these other things. But I thought, you know, why not give you guys a taste of the video? And I really had to share those amazing colors with you. I just think they're incredible. So once again, I don't like interfering with nature, but I knew some of these were going to be in captivity and the mortality rate's pretty high, which is why they have two or 300 babies at a time. Um, I really did help replenish the population though, let me tell you. So <laughs> thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you found it equally intriguing. And uh, well, once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, if you like this video, be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you gotta click the bell icon, because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. And remember, passion inspires spirit.